So we're going to Groucho's Deli and I'm gonna get a salad sandwich. Keep going. This one can recharge from I love this so much.
Yes. But maybe the world feels like, because I get with this, a hundred percent. Oh, you're, you're lukewarm. Back with it. Big back. Rich rising. It is Wednesday. Um, finally home, not settled because I still have to unload the car and unpack and clean up. But um, we're here, we made it, and I'm so grateful for that. Um, it was a very interesting trip. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, the locked in meetup was amazing until it started pouring down raining like i mean pouring lightning thundering like it was crazy so we started to like pack up and put everything away and we got poured on by the time we got everything in the car like our lashes were hanging off like makeup was everywhere like so we just went home which it was kind of sad because I wanted to stay, but we were drenched. Like we and we looked a mess, so we were like, we're just gonna go home. But it looks like everybody had such an amazing time. Like after we left, um, because they were able to go inside of the barn and whatever. But um, everything else was before the rain. Everything else was such a vibe. It was like the vegan food that I tried was so amazing. Like it was amazing. Shout out to Kyra for hosting the event. It was amazing. Um, I can't wait to attend another one when it's not raining. And then what else did we do? Oh, we went and saw my grandma. She, um, it's so crazy because I didn't think that she was like as mobile as she is. My girl is driving. Like she got diagnosed with cancer and she's been to um, chemotherapy, I believe twice. So I just automatically assumed that she wasn't like doing so well, but my girl is <laughs> up and moving, driving. She lives alone. She's doing her thing. Okay. And she has way more energy than she did. What was that? Last October at my sister's wedding when I last saw her. So I'm just so grateful for that. I'm grateful to see her moving around, doing her thing. Um, and it was just really nice to spend some time with her. Um, I think she's like 72 or 79 or something. I don't know. I forgot. I'm so bad with like birthdays and dates and age and like, <laughs> baby, I'm going to forever be 21. Okay. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up and get organized and <sighs> wusa and just try to come back to here <laughs> like oh my god I'm still kind of tired so I'm not like forcing myself to go work out or do anything like that but if I'm if I make it to the gym then pat on the back so yeah I will talk to you later finally done cleaning up and I am watching Terrence Howard on Joe Rogan and he, this man is like the so intelligent like what what are we even talking about like i'm just my mind is blown said a number of times you show me a real straight line in nature if everything in the nature if everything in the universe everything is expressed in motion all motion expressed in waves always occur Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the greater the action, the greater the reaction. The greater the reaction, the greater the resistance. The greater the resistance, the greater the curvature. Because the universe is based off of equanimity, which Einstein left out in his theory of They don't want their God killed. Gravity has been the thing they've been holding on. So I came up with like a new schedule. Like you remember how you had a schedule in class you had, I mean in class, 
remember how you had a schedule in school like you had certain classes to go to at certain times so i'm basically trying to come up with that or i did come up with something like that for me because there's things that i want to accomplish and i feel like i need structure and i need like a schedule so reading because i reading reading studying i want to learn spanish like i want to learn how to play an instrument like so i'm trying to just come up with like a subject for each hour or like each you know like i don't really know. I, I guess that's i guess you get what I'm, you you get what i'm trying to you get you you catch you're picking up what i'm putting down right like a full schedule of classes because baby we're forever a student and at this moment in my life i don't have anything like pressing to do and i have nothing but time so i feel like i need to take advantage of this time that i have right now because i don't work a nine to five so I have nothing but time. So it's like, what are you doing? Like, you could be learning. You could be fluent in Spanish. Like, you know how long I had learned Spanish on my, like, goal, like, yearly goal list? Like, come on. So we're going to do that this year. I'm still working on doing a pull-up, which is it's coming along. It's coming along slowly but surely. So, yeah, like, no, we are we are accomplishing things this year we're not talking about it anymore we're not writing about it anymore we're doing it like you have to put the action and the effort behind what you want okay so how much i don't know like now that i'm in in class now that i'm going back to school i don't know if i have time to really like vlog every second because i'm going to be studying and reading you know so like I don't know. I said all that to say your girl is about to be busy. <laughs> a good busy, like a good learning, learning, actually learning, using, using your brain, using your noggin, like instead of scrolling on Instagram, instead of like doing things that aren't going to help you build you grow you elevate you your mind like we're not doing that anymore so yeah stay tuned i guess <laughs> it's about time for me to take these out actually they look kind of i'm looking crusty right now i really am but it's okay because it's okay so yeah Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. All right. Right. What? What is that? I don't know what kind of way, but this one to get to work.
it's like two o'clock and I'm just so like annoyed. Okay, so on Sunday in Georgia, me and my sister tried this vegan Haitian restaurant, which was, oh my gosh, 10 out of 10. However, I had, well, we both had their pick lease, which is like, I hope I pronounced that right, which is like uh, coleslaw. But it was extremely spicy. And if you know me, you know that I do not like spicy food. Like, I don't like it. I don't like not being able to enjoy my food because my nose is running. Or, you know what I mean? Like, I do not like that. Or my lips are burning. So I just stay away from spicy food. But I was like, okay, I'm going to try it because it's my first time trying Haitian vegan food. So... It was really good. It was so good. It just was really, really spicy. But, I mean, I still ate it. So, then the next day, Monday, I'm, like, having these sharp pains. Like, I'm just so hungry. Like, I'm like, dang, I'm just so hungry. I need to eat. So, I eat. And then it's like the pain subsided for a little bit. It's like hunger pains. The pain subsided for a little bit. And then it came back and I'm like, okay, maybe I just need to eat again. I'm hungry again. But normally, if you know me, like I don't eat that much. I really don't. I probably eat once a day. But for the last couple of days, I've been wanting to eat, eat, eat. And I'm like, okay, something's got to be wrong. Like, why am I having these sharp hunger pains when like I'm not, I don't even eat like that? Like something is wrong. So I just started Googling and it said like something about ulcers. So now I'm like super freaking out because <laughs> like I absolutely hate having to go to the doctor anywhere like that I'd like to try to figure out things on my own the natural holistic way okay so I'm over here like googling it and then it says to like drink kombucha and because basically it's how do you pronounce it Helio something bacteria, H. pylori or something like that. Supposedly that's what it is. I mean, here I am self-diagnosing myself on Google. But anyways, so I'm doing going down this rabbit hole on TikTok and Google. It says to drink kombucha, to eat fermented foods. I got some kimchi. Like I've been drinking chamomile tea, green tea, no caffeine. Um rise has probiotics in their creamer so i've been putting that in my drink like i've been just trying to do everything and it subsided for like one day yesterday i didn't have no problems but now today it is back and i'm just like what do i do like do i go to the doctor like i really don't want to go there but i don't know what to do it's like so it's like an annoying like I, I just I eat healthy like I'm the most not the most healthiest person but like I eat healthy I do everything I'm supposed to do I work out I take care of my body so like when things happen like this it's extremely frustrated because it's like frustrating because it's like I could have just been eating bullshit like I could have just been eating bullshit if that's the case like for real I eat spice one thing spicy <laughs> I eat some one I eat spicy one time and now my stomach is in my gut and everything is just all discombobulated like I'm just oh my god I just don't feel like myself and I literally want to cry I don't know maybe I'm being a crybaby right now I don't care but like I just I'm just annoyed because it's annoying. Like, I just want to feel my, like, back to my normal self. Why am I feeling these symptoms? But that's the only symptom. So, I mean, I, I am thankful for that. I don't have any, like, bloody urine or, or bloody stool or nothing crazy like that. Just the sharp pain that feels like I'm starving. <sighs> I don't know. I guess I'll give y'all an update tomorrow. So stupid, bro.
so I just took my two strands out. <gasps> I missed one. Um, that always happens. But like my scalp was so itchy and it just felt like it just was locked up. Like they felt like they were in jail, like tied together. And now like they can breathe. Like, and it was so itchy. It didn't matter how much oil or moisturization or water. It just itched so bad. And now I feel like ugh, they're just, it just feels such a, it's such a relief now that they're out. So I'm about to eat some lunch and watch a movie. And then I'm going to take JJ to the pool because he loves getting in the pool. And that's it. That's about it. I don't know what we're doing later probably nothing but yeah i've been a nasty girl nasty all right so update on the uh, ulcer situation i'm not having pains today so i think it's gonna away i'm i'm gonna i'm manifesting that it's gone it's gone but yeah so i'm excited about that um i'm at the pool because jj begged me to go to the pool as usual then he not here in my business asking me what i'm doing i'm chilling what you doing you ready to get out I'm going to just leave you out here by yourself. You know how to fight? Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months.